Let's get over to Akiko with Qualcomm earnings. Yeah, we are seeing shares of Qualcomm under pressure here on the back of their numbers. And this is really about a weaker forecast, as well as concerns about a uh, slump in phone sales continuing there. It came in above expectations in terms of earnings on $1.87 a share. The estimate was $1.81 a share. Revenue that was a miss coming in at $8.44 billion versus the estimate pointing to $8.51 billion. Now, smartphone chip sales, this is something that we've been tracking really closely with Qualcomm, given that that is the biggest revenue driver for the company. That was down 25%. And Chana, we've been talking so much about the pullback that we have seen in smartphones. The latest data coming out of IDC pointing to roughly uh, almost 10% decline globally. Qualcomm clearly getting hit on that as well and really indicating uh, in this release that they expect that to continue to be a drag. Now, um, some comments coming through from CEO Cristiano Oman really highlighting the AI potential here. And when you talk about Qualcomm, it is about AI and the use of that on smartphones. He says specifically as AI use cases proliferate to the edge, uh, on-device AI has the potential to drive an inflection point across all of our products. Qualcomm remains best positioned to lead the transition given the unmatched accelerated computing performance with the power efficiency of our platform. So that's sort of the positive they're highlighting. But at the end of the day, this is a company that really is driven by those chip sales in smartphones and that those upgrades just haven't been, the, the, the deliveries um, have uh, really been declining as well. And, and that's hitting Qualcomm in a big way. Yeah, certainly renewing some of those concerns out there just about the health and the strength of the smartphone industry right now that's contending, like you said, with one of the worst downturns that we have seen here. So the fact that maybe the worst is not over or it's not recovering nearly as quickly as maybe analysts had anticipated. We're seeing that reflected in these results today. Also demand in China, the biggest market for phones that hasn't returned to the projected levels in that region gives come gives Qualcomm about 60 percent of its sales so weakness there in China also weakness obviously overall in the smartphone industry a huge headwind for Qualcomm